man in New Mexico is being called the real-life Indiana Jones. Forrest Fenn, the Santa Fe collector who hid the secret stash. Hundreds of gold nuggets, rare coins, and jewels. Priceless artifacts. Worth around $2 million is waiting to be found somewhere north of Santa Fe. I can't tell you how many thousands of miles that I've walked through the desert and through the mountains and along the streams and around the lakes just looking for things. In my younger years, I was always out in the woods someplace and I cleared trails for the Forest Service. I was a professional fishing guide at age 13. Well, the first treasure I ever found was a 17-year-old girl in Temple, Texas going to high school. Her name was Peggy Proctor. I think about seven or eight years later, we married. I joined the Air Force in 1950 when I was one month past 20 years old. I had a bad tour in Vietnam. I was shot down twice. When I retired from the Air Force, I had a wife and two kids. Santa Fe was the only place that I knew where I could recover. In 1988, I was diagnosed with what they thought was terminal cancer. I had a big tumor in my body. Uh, and that's when I got the idea to, to hide a treasure chest. It's such a visual sight. Emeralds and rubies and diamonds and sapphires and gold and, and antiques and jade. If I was standing where the treasure chest is, I'd see trees, I'd see mountains, I'd see animals, I'd smell wonderful smells of pine needles or pinyon nuts, sagebrush, and I know the treasure chest is wet. Well, you've asked me a lot of questions, and some of them I've, most of them I've answered, a few I haven't, but I gotta tell you, there's one thing I told you that I wish I had not. Well, I think there are a lot of people out looking for the treasure. When they get home, they find out they enjoyed something better than finding the treasure. Do I want the chest to be found in my lifetime? Part of me says yes, but a part of me says no. So, you know, it's out of my hands now.